the day has come. I never thought I'd be making this video, but um, I mean, I want to give you guys a quick little outlook, quick little catch up, quick little recap on how this year has gone for me personally. So, first of all, welcome back to another video. If you guys don't know, recently I've been grinding Minecraft on a second channel, which is going to be up on the screen right now. Dude, we're almost like, that video's, that channel's doing really, really good. So, that's Scrap Night. But, today we're here to talk about Fortnite. So, if you guys don't know, I started this year with like 57k subs. And I mean, if you guys are watching this, you're most likely sub. And you guys know that when I got 118k. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're not subbed, go ahead and sub real quick. Ooh. Ooh. All right, anyways, so guys, and I mean, a lot has happened this year. And we're gonna start all the way back from January. Uh, January, February, there's no tournaments, and then in February, I went to Dreamhack. I competed over there, I qualified for Heat. Um, I caught up on Heat 1. I'll put up some pictures on the screen right now. You know, I enjoyed some time with the overtime guys, and then I was still also going to school, so I was traveling while in school. Um, I was mainly focused on competitive back then, and uh, I, I placed in a couple tournaments. I got like 29th in a West Cash Cup, like on anything. Um, you know, this year, honestly, like I started off this year really good. It was going really, really nice. And then March came and COVID hit, and then we got sent back to school. I mean, back, we got sent home. And like, you know, I finished the junior year of high school online here. And then I started, uh, well, and then April came and then dual FNCS came. And I finished off on CS with a lot of different duos. I played with Thresh and I thought me and him were gonna do really, really good. But um, my expectations didn't go as seen. Then also in April, I met my girlfriend. So I definitely did start playing the game less because of her. I don't regret it though, because now she's like basically here every week. All right, bye. So then came, so then came like May. Uh, there was a lot of like solo tournaments going on. And honestly, like I just never really Scream solos, they never really did anything, and then trios, cash clips were also on. I played with a really, really good trio. I'm honestly really surprised that we didn't even do that well. Uh, that was like in May when the, like, the daily trio cash clips in like summer and stuff. I played with Khmer and Spark G. I'm pretty sure they qualified to the trio grand finals together from CS, and Spark qualified for solo finals. Like, I don't know, I mean, like competitive wise, I had good teammates, I just wasn't putting in the time needed. And then with those daily cups, also, so I just want to give you a quick little explanation with those daily cups. Um, one of the days, like, me, Kamei, and Spark weren't playing together, and I saw, like, Kiwis needed one. And I hit up Kiwis, like, me and him had tried out for Squad FNCS back in, um, September of 2019, so almost, like, a year and a couple months ago. And that's when I first met Kiwis. Um, and we played Daily Trio Cash Up together, me, him, and Mason RR, and I, me and Kiwi started playing really, really well together, so when Trio FNCS came around, like, I was like, all right, um, you know, like playing with Kiwis, like definitely inspired me to make content. So I definitely wanted to take that pathway and just like playing with him, like, it, like playing with people that made content like Forbes and Kiwis is just going to be better in the long run. So I started streaming every event. I started daily uploading. And I mean, before, like I, I was daily uploading those trio cash clips, like all those trio cash clips before we were an official trio are still up on my channel, but I was daily uploading. That's the important thing. And then when True Offense CS got announced, uh, I asked Kiwi if we were going to play. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to play with it. Because my whole career, I had always played with God players. Like, I've oh, like back in squads, I was playing with some of the best players. Like, Sunny, one of my old teammates, went on to do, like, fantastic things. Squad for, like, two grand finals, I think. Like, the people that I've always played with have always been GOATs. My friend group back then was literally, like, some of the best players, like, to this day. Like, you guys might know, like, Illust, Spade, White Hat Threat. Agers, like I was literally surrounded by ghosts and competitive. But you know, what I've always liked is like interacting with people and having a community, and like you don't really get that much off being a top player. So I think that like playing with Q is definitely like a really, really nice choice. My friend group changed too. I started hanging out more with Frosty Jays, and then um, he, he his friends were like Cutie Claps. And if you guys probably don't know this, but like Claps was a nobody uh, like a couple months ago. He was quite literally a fan, he was a lobby filler. And then Claps just went on to win all those Formula Customs, and he blew up, and then, you know, he was already a me and Jay's friend group. And then Zaxi came along, and I mean, I, we just built a really nice community for Honor, which is what our friend group was called. So, you know, a lot has happened this year. Well, uh, just to go back to it, like, True FNCS came around, I decided to play with Kiwis and Forbes, daily uploading, daily streaming, streaming every tournament, uploading every tournament. Like, the content grind was real, and in a couple of months, I went from 
50,000 subscribers. And also, a lot of you guys think that I had no subscribers when I started playing Kiwi. That's not true. I had 57k, almost 60k, but I was stuck there for almost a year. Um, a lot of my subs came from when I was in Chronic and I was like kind of grinding content. If you, I don't know if you guys ever remember Chronic Orange. I used to make a lot of videos with Sway, Face Sway, X, Shaw, like all the Chronic OG boys. And um, yeah, so very quickly when I started playing with Kiwis, I got 60k and uh, I was very surprised, honestly. And then came like, you know, just with True Up and CS going by, I think I reached 100k um, after True Up and CS. I reached like November 12th. So when Trios ended um, and Duels was announced, Duel Dreamhack and stuff, I was going to be Kiwis with Zuo. Me and him played together. And honestly, everything was looking really, really right. Like with, all, like with how shitty the year had been, like honestly doing content having my girlfriend having you guys my community like the year was getting a lot better for myself so like in 2019 i traveled a lot so in 2020 i couldn't travel like i went to every event last year i went to the world cup i went to twitchcon i went to anaheim i went to a lot of lands like i <laughs> i traveled so much dream hack so the year got a lot better and then now we're in the present so to talk about more like competitive the marvel super cup came around and that's when i made my first earnings um of the season or the last couple seasons and then i made that with kiwi then as you guys know kiwi took a little break and so fast friends was also announced so i had to find teammates and i i i wasn't playing with kiwi he wasn't playing Fortnite. so i found some teammates by dick and frosty jays and we made two thousand four hundred dollars playing together uh we got two top 70s in frosty frenzy so we honestly got good placement and a lot of content from it but like now, now, now comes now, right? There was there was also a dream hack, and I need to find a new duo for that. And I paired with Pocky, and me and him qualified heat one. That video did really, really good. It has like 50k views. So, yeah, and there comes now. So as you guys know, I've made a lot of videos like, oh, I need a duo, I need a trio, and that's because like trying out a bunch of different people. That's because like finding someone that you have a lot of that chemistry with and like you're actually good at the game with is like it's pretty hard to find. But I think me and Frosty Jays will probably hopefully do get in duos and maybe find another one for trios. And I don't know if you guys want, but like I, I think a lot of you guys want me to play with Kiwi. You guys just should let me know in the comment section below what you guys want. But that's basically where we're at now. That's a quick little summary of 2020. Um, in the last four months, my numbers have been crazy. I got like 60k subs after months, 30k Twitch followers. I got verified on Twitter. I got verified on twitch youtube partner partner on twitch very fun on youtube i got very fun on tiktok yesterday um a lot has happened honestly and if you guys also don't know this is the year that i signed a contract with overtime back in february but that's what we're up to right now so you guys probably clicked this video because you saw i quit and uh yeah i have a lot of big goals for 2021 but as you guys know i quit 2020 2020 son today's the last year so happy new year's eve to every single one of you watching this video um, we quit all the negativity boys. We're gonna go into 2021 with a brand new mindset I, I, I tweeted out my goals if you guys can follow me on Twitter you probably should at orangey I tweeted out my goals and honestly, they're pretty big like on YouTube. I want to hit 500k next year Well, I would love to hit a million, but I don't think it's gonna happen like at all and 500k even is aiming for the sky like realistically speaking I think I'm gonna do that 200k, but 500k is the goal So if you guys are watching this right now and you guys aren't already subscribed I mean subscribing is free and dropping a like on the video is free if you guys don't know when you drop a like on somebody's video, it helps it push to more people. So if you guys want to help me get to my goal, just drop a quick like, drop a quick subscribe if you guys aren't already. I daily upload on both channels. I got a Minecraft channel going on as well. It'll be up on the screen right now if you guys want to go subscribe to that. And also, I got my Discord link yesterday. So now you can join my Discord by discord.gg slash orange. The link will also be in the description below. I host a lot of tournaments in there and stuff. So pretty fun stuff. And also make sure you guys use code ORA in the Fortnite item shop. If you guys are not at 5,000 supporters, I will be dying my hair any color you guys choose. Obviously, like this is my dream. I wouldn't be daily uploading and daily streaming if this is what I wanted to do in the future. So it definitely is that. And I hope I can prove to my parents and they allow me to continue doing it. But you know, this is all possible with your guys' support. Thank you guys so much. If you guys watch this video to the very, very end, I really, really hope you guys like had a blessed 2020 and can reach all your 2021 goals. So we're gonna reach them together. I want my community to strive with me and like thrive together, grind together. Like we're taking it to the top next year. That's all I gotta say, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I see more orange. I don't know. Peace.